Hi, this video is going to be about relational modeling and uh, we're going to look at uh, setting it up. Before you do this, you should look at uh, the Google slides on relational modeling. If you look in the modules or even on the main page here, um, so we look at the Google slides for relational database systems. Uh, ensure that there's a link here if there isn't I will get it I think it's uh, Google Slides for relational database systems if not I will make sure that the link is there but there should be a um, a link for that okay so couple of things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, lucid charts and I have lots of documents you won't right if you go into lucid charts there's a couple of things you could do you could do a blank ERD if that shows up but I'm gonna go just for a, a totally blank document and then I'll show you how to add the entity relation uh, tools so, my computer's a little slow today. Okay, so we've got different, um, we've got flowchart ones, I'm not interested in those, I'm not interested in those shapes. What I want to do is add shapes, and when you add shapes, it'll come up Again, things are moving kind of slow, but there will be a list of standard libraries. One of them will be for entity relationships. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to say use the selected shapes. And you can see that we have the entity shapes. I'm going to pull an entity on there. So an entity is basically a, a table in design phase, right? It's not yet a table but it is going to be. And an entity represents something that's important to your database. It's a thing, basically, that can be in the database. So we will give a name to the entity, and we're going to start with customer. And then we can give it some fields that are attributes. So attributes are things that describe customers. We're going to give every customer an ID. Okay, and uh, we're going to make that a primary key. I'm going to give them, every customer will have a name, last name, um, first name. Okay, those are not keys, so the, the key part could go away. When I want to add another field, I can do this below. I'm going to add a uh, email. And then I am going to add a um, phone. So these are all things that describe a customer. Okay. It's a good idea to break up last name and first name uh, because then you can search by last name or first name. Uh, a couple of other things are you should have no spaces in the names. You could, if you want to do a last underscore name, first underscore name, but basically you have no spaces are allowed, and most special characters other than an underscore are not allowed. So be careful with your naming there. Okay, so we're going to... Um, we'll add... I added an email... In the script, I noticed that I added an address, so I will add an address. Although, we will later split that off when we do our actual database table, but we'll leave it for right now. We'll add address city, um, state, and postal code. 
when we talk about normalization, we'll talk about some reasons why you might not want the address in the customer field, but we'll leave it for now. Okay, so I want to talk, there are three types of relationships. So I'm going to bring a little text box over here, and I'm going to just say that there's a one-to-many, which is the normal relationship that 90% of your tables will have. Uh, we have one-to-one. One. I'm in terrible typing, as always which is rare but legal and then we have many to many which is a common relationship but it's not allowed because the database software can't resolve them and we'll talk about how to deal with those in a bit so let's talk about a one to many all right, let's say that you want to track how many, this is for a phone store. We're gonna do this as part of a phone store. Uh, let's say that you are tracking how many visits each customer makes to a store. So I'm gonna give each visit an ID. Everything should have a primary key. Uh, when I say ID, I'm kind of punting. They'll just be probably numbers. I am going to do um, a customer ID, right? And that will be a what we call a foreign key because it is the primary key here um, repeated over here. And a customer can have many visits. I'm going to put a date. Um, and just for, I'm not going to do everything completely. And the script may have it a little different than this, but um, I'm going to put also the reason for their visit. Okay, so I'm going to draw a one-to-many relationship here. This is called a uh, crow's foot. All right, this is the one, and this is the many. So one-to-many. One customer can have many. The three prongs shows you the, the many and this part. Now there are variations on this symbol that have like zeros here and across there. I do not care about those, at least for this class. All I care about is that the three prongs are facing the right way and the one side. One customer, many visits. Okay. Um, let's do a one-to-one. -one. Now, one-to-ones are really rare, and this, I think, is actually probably going to be uh, wrong in terms of logic, but we're going to make it a one-to-one -one anyway. We're going to say that every customer has one contract, and I'm going to put a customer ID here, uh, contract type, and we'll do a start date. I'm, I'm not going to put all of the things there. And again, this might vary some from what the script has, but the idea is the same. For a thing to have a one-to-one -one relationship, and I'm going to get customer ID again. Oops. Let me drag. It needs to have the same primary, ID, same, uh, primary key as this. In fact, I'm going to change this from PK, it's also a foreign key. Now, this line is a one to many line. Up here, <coughs> you can change the lines. So I can change it to this, and then we see that it is a one to one. One customer, one contract. And again, I don't think that's necessarily a valid way to do it, but it shows you how to set up a one to one relationship. Now let's do, so this one is one to many. I'm going to uh, text, oh, let's just do a text box, I guess. One to 
one customer mini visits uh, one one customer one contract Now, let's do a mini-to-mini. -mini. So I'm going to draw a thing on here. Let's say that every customer can buy mini accessories. OK, and we'll give this a PK, a primary key, which is accessor. Um, and then the field would be like the, the name of the accessory, say description. Again, I'm not doing everything that could be in here. We'll make this a primary key. And then these are not keys. So primary key has to be always unique right it can never repeat that's why a number is often a good idea now every customer can have many accessories but each type of accessory could belong to many customers so i'm going to do this and that the type of relationship that this would be is a many to many relationship okay so that is how the relationship would be modeled except that as I said, many to many relationships are not allowed in a database. They can't be resolved. They create kind of a loop. So the way that you resolve them is, I'm going to delete this, you create a linking entity. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to move this over a little. And I'm going to say customer accessory. that a little wider you can drag this out all right so I'm going to do a customer ID and I'm going to do an accessory ID these are going to be both primary key and foreign key now you don't have two primary keys that's not how these work. Uh, what you have is one primary key that has two parts. It's what's called a composite key. It's one, one key, two parts. I only use them for linking tables. Um, so what we would do is from the customer, we'd link here. So one customer can have many accessories. And each accessory can belong to many customers. OK. So I'm going to do a text box here. And I'm just going to say a mini too many requires a linking table. One customer many accessories one accessory and we're talking about types here not an actual physical phone cover or something can belong to many customers I'm going to add a Okay, so that is a quickie overview of so a quickie overview of the um, different database types. So we've got and relationships. So we've got entities. Each entity is about one thing: customer visits, contract, accessories, etc. And then we have a linking entity. 
we have a one-to-many relationship between customer and customer accessory. We have a one-to-many between accessories and customer accessory. We have a one-to-many relationship between customer and visits, one customer, many visits. And we have um, a one-to-one -one between a customer and a contract. Okay, so I hope that helps. I don't expect you to get this right away. This is complicated and you will have some practice on it. Um, but I just wanted to give you an overview. So I think that is it for this video.